In this video, I'm going to be showing you the best control panel settings for CS2. I did make a NVIDIA filters video not too while ago, but it did get removed because of some smoke bugs, flash bugs, whatever the case may be. Now when you use it, you can only use image sharpening. So I'm be going over the control panel settings as uh, best as I can to try to get you, you know, more out your game, more FPS, more color. But before we get into it, quick video from my sponsor. Love keeping up with Counter-Strike events? Check out the updated event system on skin.club. Earn points and spend them on the marketplace as you see fit. Get your hands on tickets, cases, skins, or balance. Alternatively, you can save up points for the next event, as they will no longer expire. The more points you have, the cooler rewards you can get. What to do with them is up to you. Skin.club. Love and play it your way. Now, if you're new to PC and you don't know if you have a video control panel or not, usually when you right click, it should pop up. If it doesn't pop up for you, chances are you either never install drivers for your PC or you just don't have an NVIDIA GPU. I would also recommend, you know, updating your driver just so that there's no problems. All you need to do is go to your GeForce experience, click drivers, click check for updates. And as you can see, there's, a, there's an update for me, but since I'm recording, I'm just gonna leave it for now. The first thing you wanna do is go to adjust image settings with preview. You wanna click use the advanced 3D image settings. Once you do that, you can go to manage 3D settings. And let's say you only want these settings to be for CS2. You would have to go to program settings and then you would have to find out where that game is. You see in this list, CS2 doesn't exist, so I have to click add, and then here it is right here. If you still can't find it, then you have to find the executable. Uh, usually this would be under your C drive, program files, Steam, Steam apps, common, and then CSGO, game, then you would go to bin, 164, and then here's the game. I'm just gonna click add, select your program. And now, you know, when I only launch this game, these settings will apply. The only settings you really need to change, or at least that I would change is, you know, low latency mode, I would turn this on, or ultra. For power management mode, you wanna set this to before maximum performance so that, you know, you get the most FPS out of your game. And then where it says texture filtering quality, you wanna change this to high performance. These are the best settings, these will get you the most FPS. And then once you've done that, you just wanna click apply. That's just for FPS, but if you wanna get like some color into your game, you need to go to adjust desktop color settings. What I like to do is turn up digital vibrance. So that's how you see it in the thumbnail. On normal, it kind of game looks kind of great. You can kind of turn this up as much as you want. I wouldn't recommend going past 90%. I'm gonna set mine to 75, click apply. If you're having problems playing stretched, you need to go to your adjust desktop size and positioning. And where it says scaling, you change it from aspect ratio to full screen. And I like to do my scaling on the deep, on the display. Uh, usually this results in faster all type times, but if this is not working, just change it to DPU. And if your monitor is just like mine, you might have something called G-Sync. G-Sync is a technology that essentially keeps your frame rate below your refresh rate so that you know it doesn't have to go above it and it can display every single frame as it's you know happening uh i would you know experiment with this i've used it on and off i don't really notice a difference it's not really going to affect your gameplay that much but uh if you want to enable it you have to click enable settings enable for windowed and full screen mode and then click apply i'm not going to apply it because you know i get a lot of fps but if you're struggling with fps i'd recommend turning this on and uh that's pretty much it for this video it was uh you know super short i didn't want to make anything long it just quick video showing you the best settings and uh if you did enjoy i would appreciate it if you left a like uh comment down below what type of video you want next and i'll see you in the next video